It is important you know which type of tenancy you have, as this can affect your rights as a tenant and the way the landlord can end your tenancy. If you are unsure which type of tenancy you have or would like more information, you can ask your landlord or speak to your local Citizens Advice Bureau. The types of tenancy you may have depends on whether you are in private or social housing. The way the landlord can end your tenancy is different for each type of tenancy. If renting from a council, you may be given a secure, introductory or flexible tenancy. If renting from a housing association, you may be given an assured, starter or flexible tenancy. You can stay in a secure tenancy indefinitely, as long as the tenancy agreement isn't breached and legal proceedings for possession have not been started. Introductory tenancies last for one year and have most of the same rights as secure tenants, but can be ended more easily. As long as the introductory tenancy isn't breached, you'll become either a secure or flexible tenant after one year. You can stay in an assured tenancy indefinitely, as long as the tenancy agreement isn't breached and legal proceedings for possession have not been started. Starter tenancies are an assured shorthold tenancy that lasts for one year. You will have most of the same rights as an assured tenant, but the tenancy can be ended more easily. As long as the starter tenancy isn't breached, you will become either an assured or flexible tenant after one year. A flexible tenancy is a fixed term tenancy that usually lasts between two and five years. They have similar rights to secure and assured tenancies. Six months before the end of the fixed term, the landlord will decide whether you can stay there or have to move on. Some flexible tenancies may be let on an affordable rent basis where rent is charged up to 80% of the local market rental value.